Welcome everyone, this is Technix and I am playing Hacknet. It is uh, obviously a hacking game. Um, I, I'm i totally blankly blanking on the, uh, the other hacking games. There's a bunch of other hacking games. Apparently this is kind of like uh, the same, it, it's, it's just sort of a, a, a revised or uh, I don't know. It's it's a lot of people are saying, oh, well, it's like the other games, but you know, more fluff or something. Like that. But I, I I don't know. I think it's cool. I played with it a, a little bit, and uh, compared to some of the other games that uh, are based on a lot more like clicky stuff, um, this one actually has uh, command line, uh, command line. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff you're doing is on the command line, and um, like if you're on, you know, like an Xbox or something. So I thought I thought it was pretty cool because I I really haven't. Um, I don't know, of all the games that I've played that are hacking games, I, I think this one's pretty, pretty cool. So, anyway, I'm going to start a new session. And, uh, uh same password that's on my luggage. Confirm. Booting hacknet kernel. Fourteen day timer expired. Initializing failsafe. Hi. This is strange. Stranger than I expected. I guess I'm supposed to write this in past tense, so I hardly feel like admitting it's over. My name is Bit, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. I'm honestly not sure how much of this is going to be a series, or if I'm going to make it into a uh, a, um, uh, a stream or something like that. I don't know. I'm just sort of playing around with it, but um, just kind of looking for stuff to put up. I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, tutorial. As of right now, you are at a risk. Learn as possibly as quickly as possible. Begin the tutorial sequence by pressing the continue button below. Continue. Oh, let's see. I guess I would. Still pretty damn loud. Sure. Okay. Uh, connect to a computer uh, by typing connect IP in the terminal or by clicking on a node on the network map. Connect to your own computer on the green map uh, now by collecting uh, connecting. There we go. Uh, scan the computer now. I'm going to scan the computer by pressing the scan network button on the display module. Scan network. It is scanning. Uh, that should be all your, uh, you'll need from your own server right now. Disconnect from your machine. Disconnect. Uh, it's time for you to take a uh, connection to an outside computer. Be aware that attempting to compromise the security of another's computer is illegal under the USC Act uh, 1030-18. Uh, proceed at your own risk and connect to an outside machine by clicking the blue node. I am connecting. Uh, uh, the VM's terminal module. Let's see. VM's terminal module has been activated. This will be your primary interface for navigating and interacting with nodes. A command can be run by typing in the, uh, out and pressing enter. A computer security system and open ports can be analyzed by using the probe command or nmap command. Uh, analyze the computer you're connecting to. Uh, probe. Uh, here can say the active ports, active security, and a uh, number of ports re uh, required to uh, successfully c crack the machine using port hack. The machine has no active security and requires no open ports to crack. If you are prepared to, it is possible to crack this computer using the program port hack. Hacking the ports. Ooh, look at the cool graphics. Congratulations! You have taken control of an external system and are now its administrator. 
You can do whatever you like with it, however, you should start by scanning for local nodes to locate additional computers. Do this using using scan. Scan. No results, not a problem. Next, you should investigate the file system. Uh, list the files and folders in the current directory. Uh, 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 now we get to the bin folder. CD bin. Uh, to view the contents of the current folder, you are using, uh, yes. Uh, these are, they're, uh, these are no programs here, but you should look at uh, configs I'm going to click on this because I don't know what they're using for. Uh, they're not using nano, are they? Nope, no nano. Alright, I'll just click on this. Totally useless. Now to clear your tracks before you leave, move up to the... I want to go into the log file. And I want to remove all... Remove, 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 remove. And then I can disconnect. Congratulations, you've completed the guided section of this tutorial. To finish it, you must look at the process ID of this tutorial and kill it. Type the help command. Uh, pro oh my god, process. So you type the help command, you're a. So I'm gonna type help so because it tells me to. Uh, and I'm looking for processes. List currently running processes are PS. Um, tutorial is. 43, so I'm going to kill 43. Hey, look, I got mail. Oh, wait, I probably want to. Oh, no, wait, gotcha. i open my mail here. First contact. Hi, I don't know you, and I'm sad to say I never will. But you're reading that if you're reading this, you might be the only person that can make things right. Right now, I'm trapped. There's no way out, not enough time, and I need your help. But there's something you need to take care of first. The faster, the better. Hacknet OS wasn't meant to be released as it is now. After a while, an automated tracker will activate itself. Uh, we can't let this happen. Connect your, to your own node, then find the delete security tracer exe. When you're done, just reply to this mail. Hurry. Uh, oh yeah, and this opens up the uh, little tips and stuff uh, that I can use. So I'm going to I connect to my own PC. Uh, I'm logged in, right? Why is it asking me to do that? Okay. Uh, CD bin. There it is. I'll just remove it. And disconnect. Reply. Getting some tools together. Great. That should keep you safe for now, at least from your own computer. Before we start, you need to uh, need a few things. Support hack alone just isn't going to cut it in most uh, modern computers. You'll find not ones anything worth looking at anyway. You should start by checking up on uh, checking up on a friend of mine. He goes by Viper. Awful, I know. He's honestly not the brightest crayon in the box, but he always seems to get a hold of useful code. You should have no trouble getting into his files. Finding something useful might be a bit more of a challenge. You can, for the most part, ignore the generic files, stuff that gets logged or saved by a program, IRC logs and the like. Custom name things like exe files are what you want to look, for, look out for. Download any files using uh, SCP. Uh, reply when you're done. So I need this Hacknet reference sheet. Let's see here. So, uh, return to inbox, log out, exit Jmail, disconnect from my system, 
Then I want to go to Viper Battle Station. Uh, I want to probe nothing port port hack. Bin. There it is. S P S C P S C H crack dot E X E. Transfer complete. C D. I'm gonna look checking for other stuff. Not see anything there. Seen any wait C D work. Not seen any other anything else there. And then I am going to remove everything and then disconnect. Let's see maiden flight. Congratulations, I honestly have no way of knowing if you succeeded in this responder, but if you are uh, you're seeing this, it means it you at least found something. I'm going to assume it's something really useful. You should try breaking out... Oh, I, I like how it's... I, I assume it's something useful, yet yeah, later he tells you what to use. Um, breaking one of my old test servers, if Viper uh, had the sort of thing he's known for uh, getting lying around should have everything you need to get in. Um, just a SSH crack on the port number. Uh, you can hit tab to autocomplete command, hitting SSH then tab should autocomplete in the port. Uh, okay, cool. So let's see, I need the bitwise test PC. Uh, security basics guide. I don't really need these. Do I need that? Yeah. Alright. So I am going to exit out of this. And what is this? Bitwise test PC? I'm going to probe. Um, open ports required for crack 1. So I'm going to SSH crack port 22. supposed to do anything here. Uh, DC. Let's go back into the mail. Reply. Hey, some nice work. Excuse me. Here's what, uh, here's where it's going to start to get hard, uh, getting harder. I need to ask a favor. I've been a little sloppy lately, which is what got me into this whole mess. 
That's why I'm writing this in the first place, I guess. Anyway, the point is, some logs on a few computers that I w prefer weren't there. You should remember this. If you got, uh, if you forget everything else I tell you, don't get sloppy. Uh, delete your logs. Oh, I forgot to delete my logs from his server. Oh, uh, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't been, start now. Everything you do on any monitor else is tracked and logged. In the log folder. Just remove everything. So he wants me to remove the logs from here. Uh, just yep, yeah, remove the logs. All right. So I'm going to. Probe. Uh, ports required for crack. That's the stage crack 22. Alright. Uh. Music's actually kind of cool. Password found. I know that I should. Okay, so anyway, get rid of everything here. Let's see. Alright, so I took care of that. Uh, where to from here? Uh, Alright, if you see this, then you've done well, and well, uh, and well, all this might actually be worth something. Is that too much to hope for? It seems like a, a lot to hope for. I, I realized that I just don't have time to write this whole thing. There's way too much to learn, and I don't have time to do any of it. So I'm going to need uh, to ask something more. There's a group that goes by Entropy that's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach you more when you're ready. I'll contact you again. As for getting into Entropy, you need to, uh, to bypass a proxy server, a few shells, uh, I've been using shell, uh, uh, running on computers, you've already got admin access on, should be able to overload it. Good luck, and thank you. If you're in trouble, I've linked the network education archives to, uh, network education archives, okay, cool, entropy test server, proxy server info. Return to Xbox or <laughs> Xbox. Return it Xbox. Return to inbox. Log out. Exit. All right. Well, hmm. Not sure how long this is gonna take, and it looks like I'm running out of time. So I am going to, um, I'm gonna quit here, and I will be back uh, for four episodes. Um, Anyway, so I'm hoping that you uh, enjoy this uh, playthrough of Hacknet. Um, and if you do, then like, subscribe, share, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.